All right, boys, Madden 24 is here. Uh, wanted to do a quick breakdown on the first look. This is Dez versus Clef. Dez is going to be in the Chiefs, and Clef is going to be in the uh, the Bills. You can watch the, the broadcasted uh, version of this film uh, on the EA Sports channel, and I will link uh, to that. But I just wanted to primarily do uh, just a breakdown on gameplay. So first things first here, Dez is in the nickel. Uh, I, I would have might be big nickel but i think it's nickel over um he's gonna run a popular blitz this is just basic overstorm brave six man pressure um so from a pass protection standpoint i think he kind of got clicked off here um but cleft you'll notice uh with press this is um this is a cover zero press and as you can see uh cleft is able to hit him uh over the top against cover zero for a touchdown so um press might you know again it, you're going to have to have safety help over the top, I believe, if you're going to play press man-to-man -man, uh, is what we can take away from this. And they did a little breakdown here. What I wanted to get to, though, really important, is what you're about to see from Dez. So Dez, I believe, is is in the uh, Bengals playbook on offense. He could be in Chiefs, uh, but I believe he's in Bengals. And the reason why is because you're going to see he's in bunch offset. Now, big, big change from last year with bunch offset. If you take a look at this, the tight end is going to be in a two-point stance. This allows that tight end to block in pass protection. So bunch offset has returned to the ability to block a running back on the left and a tight end on the right, making it, my opinion, one of the best formations in Madden 24 right from the, the, the get-go. Um, and this play verticals halfback under is back in the conversation for the best play in the game. And you're going to see why right here um, with how these tight end wheels are going to be able to attack zone coverage. Clef is going to be in a basic cover three with hard flats. What you're going to notice here, number one, a couple things. Um, this crosser is running a little bit better than it did last year. So that's a promising thing for uh, verticals being one of the better plays in the game. And then this tight end wheel, you're going to see here, I believe this is a high point. Um, but as you can see, Ta Travis Kelsey in the same area of the field, wide, wide open. Um, now, yes, this is definitely Cincinnati playbook. Um, now, I would assume one of the things that you're going to see in this first look is they're going to run a lot of different formations. They're going to try to give you a different, like, feel, testing, like, basic stuff like RPOs and, and whatnot. So, you know, kind of bear with um, the actual play selection because we know that Des and Clef are going to be in – they're probably going to be in bunch. They're probably going to be in bunch offset. They're probably going to be in tight, something like that. But I do want to kind of, again, and we're going to see if Clef uh, does go to some pressure. Now, you're going to see here, and this is interesting, Des is going to go back to verticals. Um, this is the man coverage, and he's going to check under the drag. But I did want to point something out real quick on these wheels. So if you look at this right here um, over on the tight end position, you see the bumping is still a thing, especially in man coverage. This could be a potential high ball over the top. Back to the press man conversation, you see here that this receiver is beating him over the top as well. So if you're going to run press man in Madden 24, you are going to need to have safety help over the top. Okay, pretty, pretty uh, obvious. Now, um, this is really important here too. So now Dez is in what I believe to be the best formation at launch for Madden 24, and that is the tight sauce halfback week because it has everything that you needed to have. Um, we're going to have a Bengals ebook that we are going to release to you guys uh, by the very, very latest, the first day that uh, the, the early access is graded for Madden. So I believe that's the, the 14th, maybe the 15th. Um, and then we're also, we already have some stuff in the Patreon that is going to be, te that teaches the tight sauce halfback week formation. So if you're not a Patreon member yet, it's August. If you join today, you're going to get a whole month. You'll get all of the content from Madden 23. And then you're also going to get the first two weeks of content for Madden 24 by joining today. So you can sign up today for just 10 bucks. It gets you access to all of the eBooks that we've already done and everything we're gonna do. Um, it's a monthly thing. So if you wanna sign up, the link's in the description. Um, again, 10 bucks gets you better at Madden overnight. It will literally take your game to the next level overnight. But check this out. So this is Tight Slots Halfback Week. And um, you're gonna see here, this is a really, I'm really glad you ran this concept. So um, Clef is in Cover 3 Hard Flats, I'm pretty sure once again. Uh, the thing I want to really point out is uh, Dez is going to run four verticals at a tight slot. These are the wheel routes. These are the flat wheels. Verticals has kind of rounded wheel routes. Tight slots half a week has a little bit flatter wheels. You can see here that, you know, triangles wide open off the snap. This was a really good setup last year with the running back streak out of the backfield. And as you can see, 
he checks to that quick wheel, and that was a hard flat defender that was over there. And as you can see, you can probably throw those on hard flat defenders. Uh, uh, pretty sure. So now he's going to kind of mix it up here. Go to Treyway Flex. I'm sure they said, you know, we don't want you to run the same formation every single play um, for for viewing purposes. I'd be shocked if they didn't say that. Um, here's the the, the uh, so again, real quick from a coverage perspective. If you just take a look here, Klaus not setting up any pressure whatsoever. I'm not sure if they were told that or what. Uh, but the thing I want to point out is this is a trips set, kind of like trips tight end, Trey White Flex, very similar conceptually, um, which by the way, we're going to be doing some videos for Madden 24 I'm really excited about that are going to teach how to simplify how you look at formations so that you can quickly identify what the formational concept that you're defending or what the formational concept that you might want to run is, is actually saying. So really excited about that. That's going to be coming soon. But this, this verticals play out of trip side in was really, really good. He's going to run the same basic concept out of Trey White Flex. Notice the triangle receiver is going to get wide open in the seam, and that hook girl defender is getting sucked in. So that's very similar to what we saw uh, from a from a Madden 22 uh, example. Waits a little long to throw it. I think he's throwing – I think Dez um, is still throwing high points uh, a lot. The reason that, it's, the reason that matters – had he freeform that down and inside possession cut, that probably could have been a touchdown. I think freeform is 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 slightly improved uh, from last year, from based off of what I've heard. That was actually a pretty crazy freeform right there. But again, you're seeing he's throwing the high. He was high forming that, uh, so he high pointed and freeformed and got an inaccurate. So that's another thing to kind of pay attention to. Back in tight slots, this is the formation you've got to watch. Um, because this is more so what I believe is going to be meta uh, in Madden 23. Goes back to that four verticals concept. Hits the streak uh, real quick from a uh, defensive perspective. Uh, Clef, I can't tell what coverage that is actually. That might have been cover four. Um, yeah, cover four. So you're going to be able to hit seams in tight. This means real quick defensive tip that will be relevant in Madden 24. Probably relevant every Madden ever. Bring your safeties in the box to prevent that. Just bring your safety slightly down into the box and they will cover that route, okay? Uh, that is a huge, huge, like, if you wanna if you want to do one thing that will take your defense to the next level, first of all, get in the Patreon, 10 bucks, links in the description. Second of all, though, and most importantly, bring your safeties in the box. Here's a QB draw. Um, in the beta, I'm pretty sure those were, I, I think people said those were really good. Uh, I think he's gonna go back to it here. Clef's gonna send six. Um, okay, right here. This is important. So this is, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is the standard trips concept in the red zone that we have seen for the last several years. Uh, I believe spamming uh, buttons, who I think is the best trip side in player ever, uh, was running this concept uh, before anybody else was. But essentially, you got the flat in route on the, on the left. You got the slant post over the middle. And watch this real quick. User is, he's actually... I mean, the slant's wide open. He actually makes a bad read. Real quick, big key, though, uh, Clef is usering a linebacker. Watch what happens. Linebacker can't jump. He does knock it out, though. So, um, you know, not too bad. And I think Clef will take the ball over on, on downs here. Okay, so Clef's formation here. I think this is – I want to say this is – I don't know what this is. This is a, it's not tight way off. Tight way off weak. I don't know what this is, actually. Um, so this was the loop blitz. Okay, so this is really, really important too. This was the loop blitz. From what I heard, this was by far the best way to play defense in the beta. And they're showing that this is quote unquote patched. This was the double loop that was really, really good last year. It was really good in the beta, but it looks like they patched it for launch. What you're gonna see here is he's gonna, uh, Des is trying to set that blitz up. The loop here, they're able to pick it up. Another big key that I wanna point out is um, Josh Allen rolls right out of the pocket on a contain. Don't love to see that whatsoever. Uh, this is a corner route, corner route beating man coverage. So there you go. Uh, let's see here. This is trips. This is like this is just like Y off trio, I believe. There's a C route against zone. Um, notice throwing on the run significantly better than last Madden. Uh, flat routes are still running slowly, uh, which is unfortunate. But here we go. Um, okay, so now uh, you're gonna see Des. He's starting to send a little more heat. A one-on-one -on -one ag, real quick here. This is a one-on-one -on -one ag that was really good last year against Dez's user. Dez's user still doesn't catch the pick, but um, they don't catch the ag either. So I don't like the fact that Dez's user didn't animate whatsoever. I believe that's a linebacker, Bolton. 
Um, but anyway, okay, so this is uh, this is tight slots. This is tight slots. And ooh, we missed some plays here. Oh, because they're doing this, we missed some plays. Okay, so back in tight slots, halfback week. And I think this is uh, post will drag. So if you watch that post route, okay, that's actually important. So if you watch this post route, or no, 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 this was four verticals. Never mind. All right, back in bunch. So notice Dez is already kind of seen bunch tight slots. Definitely going to be probably the two best, I think, uh, to start the year. So there's Flood, throws it at a curl flat, terrible read. Um, yeah, I mean, there really wasn't anywhere else to go. Four-man rush. But uh, Clef had a – so was that f double flat? Or was he manned up? So that was cover three with purples, and he manned up the tight end. Yeah, Des was – or uh, here we go, PA slot cross. Let me see what we're looking at here. Yeah, I think they're just talking about uh, this play. All right, so PA slot cross still in the game, not as good. Done a D-line pick here. Four-man rush actually looks really good. Not great, but good. Um, again, obviously the play, the game will play a little differently um, with with um, abilities too. So that's something else to think about. But um, yeah, okay, so. Like I said, Clef's actually doing a little bit more like standard, you know, like just kind of mixing it up than Dez is. This is dollar, probably going to be DB Fire 2. Uh, baseline price dollar, DB Fire 2. It is. Notice that the Blitz does not come in. Okay, he does get the pick here, but watch the pressure. So this is DB Fire 2, best defense last year. Um, and I think he actually kind of changed it up. I don't know if it was actually DB Fire. But the bottom line is you see here the edge, edge uh, pressure doesn't come in. I don't know why this is 1080p, but it's like not the greatest. Um, all right, so Dez gets pick six. I form wing. We're looking at the run game here. Clef getting with uh, my man Harris on the edge. Um, all right, so this is I got. I think this is tight layoff week. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see here. So sale or oh, interesting combo. This might be one of the new formations. No, I think this is tight layoff. Oh, levels. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. They're not really doing a lot. Uh, they're not really doing a lot of blitz concepts uh, yet. So far, the one blitz concept we did see was the DB Fire Two, but it wasn't necessary. It was actually the blitz out of like a match. Oh wait, wait, wait. Here's DB Fire Two. Here's DB Fire Two. Oh, we can't even see it because they did the replay. Let's see here. Inside zone against Dollar. Not terrible. And actually, he's going to go to the crib. Wow. Now, what could have happened right there is we could have it could have been a pass a bit. Um, but anyway, let's get back. Let's get back here. Watch this trail route. This is uh, this is uh, I don't know what it's called there, but bunch strong. I believe. A little in route. Does getting a little jiggy with it. All right, let's get let's get let's get going here. So bunch offset verticals. Tight end. This is show, uh, Clef showing man. He's been running in basic uh, coverage. Watch the verticals wheel. Wide open there. You've got, the beauty of this, and this I think still, when we get a slot apprentice in bunch, um, we're a hot route master. I think that post route is better than the wheel. And the reason why, or than the crosser, and the reason why is because the post route will cut underneath a little better of those safeties even if you bring them up but there's there's a uh, cover uh, verticals beating the coverage now a little five wide slant crosser combo man coverage look at that slant beat man coverage motion slant man beater uh, that was just basic cover two man it's five wide i think it's empty hb wide formation and Bengals. Uh, watch this tight end post. It's kind of a unique post. Doesn't cook press man. Uh, that that should be a pick. Uh, he does look like he's going to get that separation in the corner, but doesn't able to get it. Um, so, 
Yeah, I'd like to see Dez jump in like tight way off a little bit too because there's some really good plays in tight way off. Uh, but he's going to jump into doubles here. Quick base, I believe. Uh, no, he's in spread now. Let's see. Tight end seam. Oh, the catch tackle. So that's another thing that I think you're going to see a lot of this year. If you bring the safeties down and they get that right there where they get that catch tackle, now I do believe that guy might have a mid-zone KO. The, the KOs, the all that stuff, that's back, uh, at least for right now. So just kind of something to point out. Uh, here, I don't know. What is this route combo? How did he get that route combo? Is Mahomes... Mahomes might have hot route master. Like how, that's a that's a slot apprentice post. I think they might have given Mahomes hot route master. If that's the case, the Chiefs are the best team in the game. They probably already were because Kelsey got tight in apprentice. Um, because this is all hot route master, I believe, especially if it's tight slots. So interesting. Um short side. That looked like match. Or maybe it was cover zero. No, that that looks like match. That looks like that looks like match, and that didn't play properly. That's concerning if that was match. All right, so I don't know how Des keeps getting the ball. <laughs> I guess half time. So cross drags, you can make a bunch of tight end. Um, one of the things I want to quickly point out is what we're looking at here too, as you're looking at this gameplay, is we're looking at the routes, how they run, how defenders react. Those are some of the other things. So, for example, um, the verticals crosser is way deeper of a crossing route than a crosser like the play cross wide receiver drag. This play cross drag or whatever it's called out a bunch of tight ends, single back, that crosser is more uh, similar to the crosser out of the play PA read that was really meta in Madden 23. So you're just kind of seeing, okay, how does that route work? Um, how does the do the flat routes um, pull out the zones enough so you can throw a, a drag underneath? Those are all things we're looking at here. Uh, so it's not just um, you know blitzes and, and, and money plays. We're looking at routes and how routes want, run, how short side flood versus wide side flood. Those are all things. Um, this is that little this this play has been bugged for years where the guy automatically fumbles, but he actually breaks it and goes to the house. I actually don't hate this play. This is almost like um, the way the blocking is going to develop, it's going to be like a zero one trap or like a counter where you get that, that nice, uh, kick out block. I will say the run blocking looks really good. Um, in this, in this, uh, so far. All right, let's see some, let's see some blitz concepts. We've not seen really any blitzing at all. Linebackers are not going to jump. We know that I form wing running that pitch play gets the seal. I, the run game might be <laughs> – the run game is looking good because those are linebackers on the field too. Those are linebackers on the field, by the way. All right, so uh, let's see here. I form wing again. My man Bolton. We're on the pitch. This time he gets blown up. Okie doke. All right, and this is nickel over right here. So this is – this is a six-band – Ends up running. Okay. That was our chance. We st I want to see the blitzes. They're really not showing it. So this was cover one, uh, rob or press, or cover two man with adjustments. I think. Look at how easy it is for him to get out of the pocket. Sends the guy, tries to get back on him, can't. The movement, still going to be a thing, but, I, you know, it's, it is what it is. It's what they want. Uh, this is a screen. Apparently, this was patched, and they're trying to improve screen blocking. Not terrible. Not terrible. All right. Does the screen play? Okay, so uh, this is trail. One other thing real quick. This is actually a really good point. So, um, Clef right here is either going to be in cover through cloud or cover two, Tampa two. Watch this left side. So, in previous Maddens, um, if you didn't zone drop your clouds to 25, they really didn't get back, um, especially if you press them. And they wouldn't stop short side corner routes uh, last year at all. If you watch this throw, watch this, watch this cloud flat on the left. 
Now, there is no flat route over there, which might be a thing. But watch watch that corner. Where You can't really throw the corner route at all. Okay? You can't throw that corner route at all. So that could be a really good sign. If I could defend a corner with a, with a basic cloud, especially to the short side of the field, that would be uh, really good. Now, he might have them on... He might have his zone drops on. We don't know that. Um, that's, you know, we don't, we're not sure on that yet. But I don't think he did. I don't know what this play is here. What is that? 40. This might be. I think this is double Mabel now that I look at it. I think he dropped these, these zones back. I don't know what route for that. What is this crosser? It might be that PA bunch shot play with that deep crosser. And, uh, yeah. So he must have been doing his own. He had to have been in zone drops there. I think he had to have been in zone drops there. Yeah. All right, let's get to gameplay. We don't need to see this. Come on. Okay. So back in the Y off trio, watch the C route on the right. Notice that C routes are pretty good when paired with a streak against zone. Um, if a C route still beats man really well, could be could be a, a concept that you know we've we've seen in bunch for a long time uh, be really really effective. All right, so back in the Y off trio weak formation, uh, short side spacing, C route short side clear out. There's oh okay that was uh, interesting. Yeah, I mean it's I don't know what they're trying to show here because there's not really anything. Ooh, this is the new rack animation. So if you see there, he just has a little bit of a step. You can throw stuff that you would not have been able to throw last year. So that that's, you know, I don't know that I'd love that. Because um, that seems a little bit, you know. Now they did do some new kickoff special teams. I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, let's take a look here. Here's verticals again. This real quick um, is going to be a thing. So this was a concept that was really, really good, especially in Madden 22, uh, is utilizing these hook curls against verticals. If you put your match coverage on and you're in a cover three coverage, this guy right here is in a, uh, a hook curl. And if he has a matching principle, typically what that means is if a if you get a if you get a crosser from a trip side, that hook curl defender will match and carry him all the way. So you see here, he matches him, carries him, he does get beat, um, but he does carry him. Uh, tip picks. Okay, this is actually a really good sign. Um, it's a terrible sign that he dropped a wide open dot. It's a it's a good sign that they catch tip picks. It's a good sign that they're catching tip picks. Uh, but I don't I don't like that. You know he dropped a, the high point bug is still going to be a thing where when you high point randomly they'll just drop it. I don't love that at all. Basic cover three. Um, that. <laughs> Oh my gosh! They've got to learn. They've got to like catch picks, man. Pick artists is I still think pick artists might be the best best ability in Madden history, just because of the fact that drop picks have been the biggest one of the biggest problems in Madden for years. I don't even know what this concept is here, but I do want to. Okay, quarterback fumbles. I actually like that. Oh, flood drive. Yeah, that's a good play. Um, quarterback out of the pocket. If you haven't noticed, every time Clef has wanted to roll out. He's been able to roll out, okay? Uh, so that's a big deal. I think this was a match. I don't know what that concept was from Dez. It had to be just cover four drop. Um, but anyway, look at this again. This is this is. I mean, this is concerning to me. Look at look at how easy it is. He's out wide open corner. Like it's a roll out of the pocket game. It's a roll out of the pocket game. And I don't really like roll out of the pocket Maddens um, because, like, it's just very, like, I don't know. I think I think the name of the game defensively to start out the season is going to be can you contain the quarterback? And we'll have defense for that um, on the Patreon page. So if you're not a member, uh, again, links in the description. Back in tight slots, this is the standard flood setup. Okay, so now we're in the middle hash, and that corner route kills that cover too. Okay, so that's solid to see. Um, or was it, that wasn't cover three. Yeah. I don't know. Clef's doing some stuff. <laughs> I think he put that safety in the outside third to the left side. All right. Verticals, high ball crosser, wide open. 
Yeah, I, I don't I don't see any playbook rivaling uh, the Bengals playbook. I really don't. I think Bengals is really good, really good playbook. Um, because you have tight, you have bunch, you have quads at a bunch strong, you have tight way off, you have some under center stuff. Um, so yeah. Oh, that that's probably what that was that cover two invert, huh? So going to Trey Y flex. This is the trips tight end uh, concept. Probably we're gonna see here. I don't know what he's doing. Is he in a run? We want a seam wheel to the back. No. Oh, this was a concept. This was um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is doubles in sale where you utilize two in routes to pull the zones in, and then you either have the yeah. So that's kind of a, a, a okay. That's going to be still a really good concept. Man, I wish they would blitz more. We really aren't getting the feel for how pass protection is going to work outside of these base rushes. Uh, I will say rolling out of the pocket is really good. If we can figure out a way to um, – in Madden 22, uh, there was a way. This is DB Blitz at a dime. You should see double-edge pressure here. It's a six-man. Yep, double-edge pressure out of that. So that's still there. What uh, what I was going to say is if we could figure out a way to get uh, pressure in, with the with the interior rushers and then have the outside guys be able to contain, you could have a really good defense just based on the fact that you can consistently contain and you're also seeing the sheds are coming in. Um, now, again, there's no secure protector, but they are getting shedded. Um, so that's that's also something to think about. Here's DB Blitz again. Again, this is a six man. We're gonna send both corners and the four, and we're gonna to try to hover. Um, yep, there it is. That's pressure, and that's with a back and play action. So DB Blitz is looking decent. Um, we'll have to look into some of that. This is slant post, kind of. Um, look at the shed. See, I I really think, man, if you can. If you can get good sheds, like that opens up a lot of possibilities defensively. So that is the first uh, gameplay, first look. Want to do a quick breakdown on that for you guys as we watch through it. Thanks for watching. Real quick, guys, seriously, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, you want to get everything that you need to be successful in Madden 24, join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks a month. The link's in the description. It teaches everything um, from how to run match coverage consistently, how to run zone coverage, how to run man coverage, how to blitz out of every formation in the game, how to run all the offenses in the game. Everything's in there. We release several ebooks in August. I think we have four ebooks already scheduled for release in August. So make sure that you're in the Patreon. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.